Hello and welcome back to Average Guy's Garage. Today we're at the 2001 Dodge Dakota and uh, when you do the left turn signal you see you get the flash fast flashing the right signal is fine. So that's an indication that one of the bulbs is burned out on the left side. So the way to check that is to come up here turn on the four-way and then we'll go to the back first and see if there's a light out. So the turn signal indicator in the back is fine. We'll go to the front. And you'll see that there's a bulb here but this one is burned out. We check the other side. You see that there's two bulbs both working. So the way to fix it is to replace this bulb right here that's burned out. So let's get to that. So the replacement bulb for the 2001 Dakota is the 3157 and that is the same bulb for front and back turn indicators. Now typically to do some work with the headlamp here you have to take this entire unit off but we are in a good situation because coming around to the side here the bulb that is out is the one closest to us here so we should be able to work our hand in there Let's zoom in a little bit and remove that housing for the bulb and then put the new one in since it's the one closest to us. If it was the one farther away, we'd have to take this bolt out here, the one on the other side, and then take the whole unit down to get to the bulbs. So we will reach in there and un take that housing out, put the new bulb in, and give it a go. So it's pretty easy to reach in there. I was just able to give it a twist, um, pull it out and bring it forward. And you want to be careful because these housings can get brittle over time from weather and from the temperature of the bulb. So you want to use two hands to pull the bulb out. Don't try to twist it or pull it out. It'll break the housing possibly. All right, it's back in place. Um, just kind of fiddle around with it. Uh, it'll finally seat. And um, then once it's in there, you just twist it back and it locks in place. And you can see now that the both bulbs are burning on the four-way test. Also remember that uh, you don't have any grease on your fingers. Try not to make sure your hands are clean. A little spot of grease on the bulb could heat up the bulb and, and have it uh, explode or you know burn out. So that looks like it's it. It's a pretty quick fix for the average guy. Um, if we ever have to take that uh, headlamp off we'll show you how to do that but being able to reach in here on the side and get to those bulbs made it a pretty quick pretty easy fix. So thanks for watching and tune in again next time.